Is that your chair? Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if I bought their... Did I buy their unit? Like hey, how's it going? All right, yourself? All right. Is that your unit right there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can move up. I, I got oh, this unit right here. You sure? Yeah. Did I? Yeah, yeah. How was it? It was all right. How many units were in here? Uh, 19 or so. Really? Yeah. I can't believe I missed it again. I've been so curious about this one for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> this wasn't your stuff, was it? No. This in here? No. Okay. It was a, I, the late, I knew the, the lady, it's full. But yeah. she was running back and forth to the uh, flea, market. flea markets. Oh, okay. So I don't know what's really in there, but I know that's what she had in there. She was running back and forth to the flea markets. Alright, I bought the storage unit here for $30 at auction. This is also part of the other day, or other week I should say, when I bought the uh, the storage unit. Now that video was recorded probably about 20 to 30 minutes ago, so I'm kind of gassed myself. Um, and this one's outside, and it's, well, today is a hot one, so we're going to try and make through and, and finish this one up. But uh, yeah, I paid $30 for the storage unit. If you guys are ever curious about how these storage units work, definitely check out my channel. Uh, these units go up for auction quite often. I outbid everyone else and let's see if it was worth it. The uh, person next to me apparently bought some storage units at previous auctions, but uh, they uh, forgot that today was an auction. I think it's unlocked. So I'm just thinking freaking. Oh, there we go. It's kind of, kind of dark. I think, uh, I might have to move my van here. It's screwing up my videography. Can you see anything? Ah, there we go. Wow, lots of pinks and uh, <laughs> kid stuff. So we'll see if this is actually kid stuff or what. I did see a lot of garbage bags. I just started. Oh, you just started? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we got to start diving into this and uh, see how it goes. Like I see a lot of kids' stuff. It was actually beneficial. That person told me that the person does flea markets because if you eliminate that and that and that, this is, eh, that's just a box. It looks like you got a liquor bottle in there. If you eliminate those three things, this unit can go for a lot of money because you go from kids' stuff and baby stuff to mystery bags and mystery bins with furniture. So that was definitely one of the reasons why this unit sold cheap. I do remember this being on top and I was kind of skeptical of that. Let's see if there's anything, there's something in here. I'm also doing my best at uh, trying to video this. I am by myself and I don't have a camera crew. I never have had a camera crew. So we're operating the storage clean out as well as the videoing and all sorts of fun stuff. So all you have to do is just deal with me today. Um, so if things might seem off or anything, just realize it's a one-man show. Alrighty. What the heck we got here? Imagine this stuff was real diamonds. Imagine this was all real diamonds. This freaking thing would be $150,000 low end. This looks like costume jewelry. All right, so we got like $2 in costume jewelry there. I do not see any gold. That would be costume jewelry. I will now go ahead and take out all these chairs. Kind of curious what's in these, these bins. Kind of neat how these chairs are also wrapped in plastic. Wonder what that's all about. So this is a paper towel holder. This looks like some sort of cup or something. What that is? What you're working with Planet Hollywood, New York. Ah, oh, it's one of those like uh, souvenir cups. It comes with a box. I don't know if I really ever sold that kind of stuff. The one thing that are coming back that's glassware is those uh, McDonald's cups. Those seem to get some value. What the heck is this? That's a weird looking color. 
It is whiskey sour. I'm not going to drink this. In fact, thinking about my 21st, I think the only thing I remember from my 21st is going to, uh, well, I remember a whiskey sour. I don't know why I thought that'd be a great idea to start off the... It was my first whiskey sour, and that's why I decided to start my 21st with. After that, night, night. My taco stacks. Anyway, um, we probably got like $2 in stuff in this box, realistically. Uh, the whiskey sour, that's going down a drain somewhere. I don't know how much I trust trust that nor do i trust anything being out in this heat we just went through a massive heat wave here a week ago all right let's get into the first bin shall we and it's close all right looks like we got clothes and a purse Smells fairly decent. Some Tommy Hilfiger on the wear, some Hanes on the wear. And it looks like nothing but clothes. Hmm. Not what I was really expecting to find in bins. We probably got ourselves like five to ten dollars in the flea market clothes here. I don't see any adult and I don't see any vintage. I'm wondering if. Uh, that might be all close too. We will see. This I'll probably just end up flea marketing also. I don't usually bring this stuff, but we gotta make ourselves our $30 back, right? Everything goes. Ah, salon, two in one, shampoo and conditioner. Just what I, well, I won't use that. All right. What are all these? We got some Kaboom. That stuff actually works great. And I actually went out and bought some. I know a lot of people are against using chemicals to clean stuff, but with hard water, it seems like the only thing you can really use is this kind of junk chemicals. This looks like just paperwork. Looks like school stuff. That is exactly what that is. Now what I mean. We so we have like a five dollar bottle of Kaboom. This looks like just hmm, something must have leaked on this. Is in there. It's another flea market item. The lighting, man. The lighting, the lighting. So we got ourselves a Black & Decker vacuum. It's gotta be like two or three dollars. Probably like 25 bucks at the store. It looks like this whole first big, uh, first bag I should say, is all closed. So I won't tear this open now. Uh, but it looks like it is nothing, or maybe this is linens? Oh, feels something. That feels like a shoe. What I was saying was, um, I don't want to open up all these bags and then have to somehow fit them back into the bag that's ripped. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and take the bags home and then look through them at another time because otherwise when we look at a lot of clothes, I don't think people want to see just nothing but clothes. So stay tuned for that. This looks like it probably has DVDs and stuff. All sorts of... Oh, jeez. Oh, what is that? More clothes. I'll have to go through this, so fun foul. I hope these things are in here. It is. The local pawn shop by me actually buys Blu-rays for a dollar each. I never knew anyone actually bought Blu-rays. Uh, but yeah, they pay a dollar a piece. Although, majority of this thing looks like it's all DVDs in terms of what you see right here. There might be a handful of Blu-rays hidden in here. So that's a pretty decent score. In fact, probably kind of 
I'll show you here. Now dig it up in this whole bag. Once you get rid of these freaking fancy shoes. Alright, give it a rip, right? What the heck? Towel. Rip that too much. It's freaking DVDs on top of DVDs. Look at this. Just nothing but DVDs. The whole thing. The whole thing is just D. Those are knockoffs. Freaking DVDs on top of DVDs. And I see another Blu ray over there. Wow. Holy cow. Only if DVDs were hot like they used to be. Man, that thing would be like a $300 bag. Just like at the bottom of that DVD bag. DVDs. Freaking Adidas box. I really hope they're in there, man. Size 10. Not my size, but... Definitely not Adidas. I see more shoe boxes. Those are all those. Maybe the Adidas are those. At least there's stuff in it, man. You know how many storage units I buy and there's just nothing in these things? What the heck are these? Those are freaking sweet. Those are some nice looking shoes. Yeah, so there's stuff in here. There are some purses. These look like pretty generic. I don't know if all those are really a great brand. I know Adidas, those are probably Superstar Adidas size 10. Those are probably decent, but those are not in there. Maybe they're in another box. Maybe not. The world will maybe never know. I might never know. And a book. Moving into the next bin. Looks like clothes popping out. That's what it is, clothes. Seems to be amazing how many women's clothes and kids' clothes I find, but I never ever find men's clothes. Anytime I do find men's clothes, they're actually decent. Like, they're decent resale value on it. it looks like probably paperwork in here. Which is interesting that the person next to me. Ah, uh, court documents. Love a good court document. There's usually, I would say, eight out of ten units that I buy, the person's in jail. For some reason, whether or not. Now, I don't usually disclose that information on YouTube. I mean, I have every right to. I mean, this is my stuff now, but I try to keep all that personal stuff off of it. Now, this person apparently was a flea market person, though, so I'm kind of curious why... It's our first unisex adult t-shirt. You have some socks also. Kind of curious why, if you're a flea market person, why there'd be paperwork, like personal paperwork in here. Uh, also, it seems like there's a lot of clothes. So that's also curious. I would say this though. I'm in the somewhat of a shade here. I know the lighting on the video is probably terrible, but um, huge difference maker in terms of cleaning out a storage unit in the sun and then having the protection of your van. It is uh, on this blacktop. It is it, it's it's hot. When you do this exercise, it makes it a lot hotter. Kind of curious what's in that that bag. curious because there's like a box in here. I think the box is for. Oh, diapers. Ah, shoes. Oh, wow. Really good shoes. Got Jordans. They're all kids, unfortunately. More Jordans. Even more Jordans. I have crushed. 
Give me some good lighting one time. Jordans. It's a whole box of them. All kids Jordans. So like something like that. I mean that whole box there. Retail value is freaking incredible. But I should be able to like. These Jordans. I mean I know they're kids and whatnot. I should be able to get. Probably two dollars a pop for them. For a pair used. Who knows. How old do you got to be for this? Though These look tiny. 5C. I don't. My kid size is way off. This looks like it's old bedding. That's exactly what it is. Sheets. And what looks like a comforter. Maybe a pair of jeans. Now one thing. I have to tell everyone here. Because I know I'm going to get comments on it. You got to check every pocket. Alright. That's one thing you got to do. You got to check every freaking. This thing feels heavy up here. Nothing there. You got to check every pocket. And make sure there's not money in it. In the fact, Lion Dynasty. There's some freaking jeans, all right. Um, what I would say is, of all the units I've ever done, I've never found more than probably $5 in any pocket. The only time I've ever found money in someone's pocket was I found a bin of clothes out for the trash. Uh, it was a bin like that. And there was $20 in one of the back pockets of a pair of women's jeans. Um, and it was out for trash. Like, it wasn't even, like, donation, nothing. It was, like, literally a bin of clothes that was out with garbage. And I took back. But, yes, you do have to check every pocket. When I do flea markets, so for something like this, I'll probably end up just taking these garbage bags to the flea market. Uh, and then dumping them out, but not selling the contents immediately. Uh, I'll have to go through them. I know if the bins, especially, I always just I go through everything because you don't want to sell something you're not supposed to either be selling, whether it be legal or ethical. And uh, I don't really care too much about like the money aspect in terms of oh, you know, oh that thing's worth twenty dollars on eBay. You actually sold it for three dollars, but you don't want to sell a gun or a knife. Or anything that you're not allowed to sell or licensed to sell uh, just because you're lazy so make sure you always go through every single bag you can even see my sweat on this I mean it is a hot one but uh, I will go through every single bag at home you guys see it, it's clothes freaking clothes what the heck is this I thought I saw some lululemon this is Nike Dry Fit 3X. Don't know what it is. Pants maybe? Jacket? Not sure. Looks like this is all athletic wear. Looks like a bathing suit. We are down to like three bins and then whatever heck this freaking mattress is. Maybe somebody will want that. Lots of clothes. The storage unit of... Well, that scared me. Storage unit of clothes. These look like those. Oh, we got some towels. Towels always sell. Everyone always, everyone always buys towels for rags. You get them two for a dollar. It's a good deal. A whole bag of what looks like the kitchen or uh, the bathroom. So we got towels and a shower mat right here. New York City skyline. Some kids toys, cash register. There's no cash unfortunately. Freaking is not soda it might look like soda it's actually a lava lamp it's a top to a lava lamp because I believe this is the bottom to it <laughs> and at the bottom of this is nothing but freaking Christmas decor nothing too crazy there it's another, uh, looks like another flea market storage unit here. A lot of flea market stuff. Uh, hopefully not a lot of garbage. As long as the, uh, as long as the clothes sell. Well, I can always donate them if they don't. 
And just like that, we're down to the last two bags. Oh, maybe this is toys. There's a lot of Minnie Mouse stuff and Mickey in here. Yeah, it looks like newer kids toys. Lots of Minnie Mouse. And some stuff for the beach. Oh, we do have a little Minnie in here. I don't think this one's old at all. But there's a lot of Disney in here, so hopefully it should have a decent Disney lot. It's a crazy, it's crazy to think what this stuff costs new. Those look like kids' beach toys down there in the corner. Uh, there's also another beach toy thing right there. Oh, it's a shopping cart, maybe. But no vintage Hot Wheels, no red lines, nothing like that in this unit. Yes, the last, last one here. The last garbage bag in a unit with quite the abundance of garbage bags. Uh, there's going to be some good things probably in these bags in future videos, so make sure to stay tuned. Like I said, I kind of go through like the brief clean out of this video. Um, I do also have a GoPro. I know I do get these comments quite often. This is not being recorded with my GoPro. My GoPro actually is out of storage right now because I just did that other video previously. I talked about that. Uh, so yeah, that video, uh, well, it took a lot of, a lot of footage, I should say. So I did use my backup camera. But yes, I do have a GoPro that I also use for these cleanouts and other things. But let's see what's in this wonderful, wonderful bag. Oh man, did we finally hit shoes? Did we finally hit decent sh What the heck are those? Why do those look very familiar? Nike. Those are fresh, except for the fact that they're kind of dry rotted. What size are these? Great. Whatever size. <laughs> they were right there. I don't know. They're over there. Oh, they're my size. Dude, I might have some new sneakers. Let's see how bad... Ah, uh, you got some heel drag. What does it matter to me? Those are kind of freaking fresh. What are these? Oh, are these the Adidas? Dude, we saved the money bag for last. No, these aren't Adidas. What the heck is that? That's Nike, but what the... Nike with no logo? Are these the Air Max 95s? Maybe. Maybe not. I say Air Max on them. Why do I feel like that's an old school logo though? Like the old one, the original ones. Freaking. Sweet bag. I'll just rip this guy open. Screw it. That looks like the other shoe. Aw, oh, man, don't tell me. Ah, oh, it's just the bag. Oh, Look at that little split right there. So I'll just maybe wear these. These are not sell. I mean, they're flea marketable, but they're not eBayable. Definitely not stock Xable. Yeah, there's a decent amount of shoes in here. Those are nice. You always look at the tread and see if there's any. This, these are pretty good. Like you'll see on the bottom of this, look at the heel. You can see, still see the tread and then you look at this and the tread's kind of going away. Polo. So this might be the adult clothes. Yeah, you see there's a couple sneakers in there. I see the rest of the... Each uh, shoe has a pair. Like that one is right there. Then this one goes with the other. That one. These are kind of crushed. But they'll shape up. Wow, so that's actually a good bag right there. That's at least 30 bucks just in a couple pair of sneakers that's a good score okay well 
looks like that cleans it up for this storage unit. Nothing else left inside. Another storage unit in the books. All done. Oh, gotta close this door. These things are always tricky. There we go. Alrighty, so last one to leave this uh, facility. I just cleaned out the last part of that unit. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this wonderful treasure hunt. It's always a blast to do these storage unit videos. Always lots of fun. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely smack the like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. I will be posting a bunch more of these storage unit cleanouts in the near future and have done it uh, quite a lot over the past couple of years. I've done a, probably three, uh, maybe three or four over the last month and month and a half. So lots and lots of fun. If you guys enjoyed, definitely smack the like button, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.